Welcome everyone. Today's lesson is on the definition and parts of a circle. We're going to start with points A and B. Point A is 5 centimeters away from point B, so segment AB is 5 centimeters long. I'm going to draw a few more points that are 5 centimeters away from point A. Let's start with segment with point C. I'll draw segment AC, just 5 centimeters to the left. Then I'll draw segment AX, which will be 5 centimeters down. And then I will draw segment AY, which will go 5 centimeters to the right. All four of these points are 5 centimeters away from point A. This means they're all on the circle centered on point A. A circle is the set of all points that are a fixed distance away from a given point. That given point is called the center. The center of this circle is point A. That fixed distance is called the radius. The radius of this circle is 5 centimeters. Every point on this circle is 5 centimeters away from point A. We can also name the radius as we would uh, any other segment. Uh, AB is a radius. There are three other radii that are drawn. Uh, for example, AC. The diameter of a circle is twice the length of the radius. The diameter of circle A is 10 centimeters long. A diameter is an, a segment whose endpoints are both on the circle and passes through the center. In this circle, cir uh, segment CY is a diameter. The circumference, sorry, the circumference of a circle is like its perimeter. It's the total distance around. However, because we don't have uh, sides to add up, that means we have to use the formula 2 pi r, or pi times the diameter. So in this circle, if we use 2 pi r, that gives us the formula circumference equals 2 times pi times 5. Now we can simplify the 2 times 5 to get us 10 times pi. This is what we call the exact answer. It's not rounded, it's in terms of pi. It doesn't tell us, it doesn't tell us um, approximately what it is, but it is perfectly exact, no rounding necessary. And then we can use our calculator to get the rounded version of the answer. So using the pi button on your calculator, you can type in 10 times pi, and it'll give you something around 31.42. So the uh, circumference of this circle is 31.42 centimeters. A central angle of a circle is an angle whose vertex is at the center of the circle. Uh, there, are multiple uh, there are multiple central angles drawn. Um, for example, angle BAC. Let's say that angle BAC is 120 degrees. Because it's an angle, uh, because we have angle pairs, we can use any of our other relationships we've used. Uh, angle BAC is supplementary to angle BAY, so angle BAY has to be 60 degrees. All our other angle pairs and properties are going to be used or could be used. Whether those are vertical angles, complementary angles, anything is fair game. Finally, we have arcs. Arcs are portions of the edge of a circle. There are three kinds of arc. There's a minor arc, which is less than half of a circle. There's a semicircle, which is exactly half. And then there is a major arc. A major arc is more than half of the circle. Minor arcs are named by both endpoints of the circle, whereas major arcs, we need to list a point that's in between. So we, can, uh, so we know to go the long way around. For example, arc BC in this circle is a minor arc. However, arc BYC is a major arc. Arcs are measured in degrees by the central angle that form them. So uh, the measure of arc BC is 120 degrees because the central angle, angle BAC, as we said earlier, is also 120 degrees. Thanks.